What we would like to see is a meaningful negotiation um, and what we currently have is a government that's basically telling us that we have to pre-agree a set of, a set of uh, uh, preconditions that before we can enter negotiation process. You know, we've always said that we are happy to enter negotiations. What we need to have is meaningful negotiations and that means withdrawing the threat of imposition and withdrawing preconditions. The junior doctor's contract is we don't, it doesn't come up for renewal that often, it's like a once in a generation thing and it will be the framework that young doctors will be working to for the next 10, 15 years and so it's fundamental to the like, delivery of the NHS. So we currently work um, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week in um, A&E departments, in maternity departments, in paediatric departments, in every department of the hospital junior doctors are there on the front line. We see the, we're the first doctor you see when you come into the A&E department, we're the doctor that looks after you in, um, on the wards, we're, I, I'm an obstetric doctor, I deliver babies so I'll be the one that um, delivers babies when they're in trouble. Um, these are the people that you're talking about, they're the front line staff. What Jeremy Hunt is proposing is to change tinker with, the, with the, the, the kind of fundamental aspects of our, of our job. So for instance, he talks about seven day services. Well, we already work seven days. He talks about long hours, you know, extending the hours from seven o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night, Monday to Saturday. Well, that results in a, a actual cut in pay for the very doctors that you're talking, that you really need in the hospital. If they're having their pay reduced, when they're working out of hours and they're having to work longer at nights and weekends, what are they meant to do with their children? This is the question I ask him over and over again. And in that scenario, we end up losing staff that cannot then provide services. Patients out there already know how stretched the NHS is. And by doing this, it, over, it, it stretches it further because there'll be key staff that just won't be able to be there. Again and again through, this, through the last few weeks we've been, we've been hearing about 24-7 and 7 day week services. Junior doctors work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We're in the hospital at 3 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday morning or 7 o'clock in the morning on a, uh, on a Tuesday. We're there already and to conflate the issues to do with 7 day services with junior doctors is to do junior doctors a misservice. We're already working those hours. so. The fact that it keeps getting brought up is making junior doctors ever more angry and, and, um, and upset. There's a lot of other industries now heavily recruiting out of medical school and, and of junior doctors because these are talented, intelligent people. Um, and other countries have come and started a, a, a recruiting here. So Australia is doing a massive recruitment drive in London right now, saying, if your health secretary doesn't value you, we will value you instead, I think is the last advert I saw. It is so sad that so many of um, that our Secretary of State doesn't get it, doesn't understand that actually most of these doctors are desperate to work in the NHS and he's creating a situation and, lo and a lot of anger that is essentially pushing a generation of doctors away. A, uh, a new junior doctor coming out of medical school um, after doing five years, six years usually of study um, will have a starting salary of under £23,000. We're talking a salary that actually is relatively low compared to probably comparative areas in the, the, the people that they went to university with or whatever. But that's not right, that's not the issue. No one goes into medicine for the money. The fact is we go into medicine because we have a passion for what we're doing. We care about what we're doing. The amount of hours they are meant to be there, I think someone calculated, I saw it on a, on a social media thread the other day, is something like £10.17 an hour or something because of the hours that they work. And we work, and often they work way more hours than that, right? Way more hours. And yet we're suggesting that, that these are overpaid, you know, staff that, are, that are, don't apparently care about the NHS. This is what the Secretary of State is saying. Well, frankly, I think he's wrong.